What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Hot and Cold. This is a show where me and Anthony look at a hot team for the week and a cold team for the week. So we're back. Took a little break last week. We're back. So for the hot team this week, I'm going with a team that had a really slow start to the season. I was really surprised at their slow start early in the year. They're now in the seventh seed. It's the Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets are six and four in their last 10 games, and they have won three games in a row. Right now, they're being led by Nikola Jokic, who's averaging 27 points, 11 boards, and eight assists a game. This man's on another level right now. He's on an MVP tear. He's got to be in the top three right now as far as MVP voting goes. And another key piece on his team is Jamal Murray. We just saw Jamal Murray maybe like a week, two weeks ago, 50 points. I want to say, I think he shot 80% from the floor. Like Jamal Murray's getting back to that bubble form. The Nuggets are looking real good right now. That's my hot team for the week. What's going on, guys? It's Anthony back here again with this week's Hot and Cold. I finally got a jersey for the hot team this week. Going with my guy Melo and the Knicks. I know he's not there anymore, but the Knicks, they're seven and two, I think, in this past nine game stretch. It's, it's almost kind of tough, let me throw it in, because I kind of thought that this could have been the Milwaukee Bucks, but I think the Knicks have been on fire lately. They're seven and two, they're fourth in the East right now. It's crazy, who would have thought the Knicks would be fourth in the East? But now Julius Randle's been playing out of his mind lately, putting up all-star numbers, putting up like crazy numbers. Derrick Rose has been filling in for the injured Alfred Payton. They've been playing good. They got this new rotation lineup going and it's been working out pretty good for them. I like the Knicks. I like the way they're moving in this direction. They're finally starting to win after all this time. I've got some pieces together, they're winning. So that's my hot team for the week, the Knicks. So before I get into my cold team of the week, I just want to put this out there. Shouts out to Anthony, bro. This man has drip on another level. He's got a million and one jerseys for the show. I respect that, and Keep up the work, bro. All righty. And for the cold team this week, I'm going with the Detroit Pistons. They're 9-24. and 24. Ugh. Yeah, they just haven't looked good lately. They've been okay on defense, but offensively, they just can't get going. Jeremy Grant was bought in in the offseason. He was started off the season hot. He was... Guys were voting him and pushing for him to be like a first all-star starter, but he hasn't been as efficient lately. The Pistons are just not producing enough on offense. Oh, they're solid defensively by offense. They're just not there. They're not clicking. They just don't have like a top scorer really to help get them over that next level. They've, I think they're, what are they? One and five in the past few games or something. They've won one of their past five or seven or something like that. It's crazy. They've kind of been sucking. They're not that good. So, I mean, that's my cold team for the week, the Pistons. My cold team this week, man, just, you know this one hurts me. You know I'm going to take here. I'm going to take the Los Angeles Lakers over the past 10 games have been 3-7. and seven. The Lakers have really struggled without Anthony Davis and are having severe problems in the offensive and defensive ends of the floor. Without this man, he's 100% their second best player. They need this man on the floor at all times. We did just see them blow out the Golden State Warriors the other night, which was an impressive win. But then yet again, they lost last night to the Sacramento Kings. So it's tough times right now in LA. With that being said, I am not too worried about this Los Angeles Lakers team down into the playoffs as far as an NBA Finals run and stuff like that goes. Because I think Anthony Davis is going to come back to full peak. He's going to be way better than what we've seen so far from him this season. Um, and once they get him back, Lakers are going to be all right. But that's my cold team for the week. So with that being said, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Hot and Cold. Do me a favor, guys. Go check out Anthony's podcast, Instagram page, Twitter, all that stuff, at The Greatest Podcast on Turf. Quality NFL content from him and Ryan every single week. Podcast, videos, all that kind of stuff. And, of course, check out all the Sam Sports Talk stuff we got going on. Instagram, at Sam Sports Talk. YouTube is at Sam Sports Talk. TikTok, at Sam Sports Talk. I'm doing some stuff on there, whatever. Um, my Twitter is at Sam Lucchini. Thanks for tuning in to this episode, guys, and we'll see you later.